Okay, good evening. Um, I am coloring in this cute book called Minuet de Bonheur. And it is just a, such a cute one to do this time of year with Easter and spring. It's got lots of bunnies and ducks and flowers. It's a really cute one for this time of year. Um, and right now I'm working on the wood grain in this picture. So I've got this wheel over here, and there's this ladder, and a couple of shelves that are wood. And I tried to do this video doing <laughs> the wheel and, I don't know, having some computer issues and now my lighting is going and so I don't know how this is going to work. We will see what happens. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, let's do uh, some of the ladder and see if I can't show you what I'm doing. So I've gone ahead and picked some colored pencils and I will leave what I'm using in the descriptions below, below, that way. And um, so just click on that and you'll be able to see what I'm using. So my darkest color is um, sepia and it is uh, Prismacolor 948. So these are the Prismacolor premieres, 948. And then my next lightest one is chocolate, 1082, and my pencil's getting rather short, but I've got some others. And then my next lightest is light umber, 941. And my lightest color is sandbar brown, 1094. And all of those are color premieres. So I'll have that in the description below so you can see that because I know they're, it's not showing up well on camera. Um, so we're going to start with the sepia and what we are, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put in the grain of the wood. The artist has given us a little bit here. We might add a few, a little bit just so we have something to build off of. And we want to use a medium pressure. We don't want to um, burnish the paper. We don't want to lose that tooth, but we want to make sure that this is uh, prominent and we have enough down on the paper. So medium pressure right over the lines that um, she's given us. If you're working in a, on a picture that doesn't have lines on your wood, you can go ahead and add your own. And don't worry that you're putting them in the wrong spot or it's not gonna look right because if you've ever looked at a piece of wood, they are random and messy. And there's light spots and dark spots. So you don't need to worry about that. Nature is unpredictable and uh, sporadic. Not perfect. Okay, so our next color we're gonna use is chocolate, which is 1082. We're gonna go right over what we just did with the sepia. We're gonna use a lighter touch and we're gonna feather out from what we just put down with the sepia. Right over the top of it, just feathering it out a little bit. Light pressure. Getting that color down on the paper. I filmed for the wheel and the spokes. I had a little better lighting, so I'm hoping this shows up. If not, I might have to wait and do this again tomorrow, but I'm running out of wood. right over the top of the sepia, feathering it out a little bit, light pressure. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so our next lightest color is our light umber, PC 941. 
And we're going to do the same thing, go right over the top of that sepia, right over the top of that chocolate, just feathering it out a little bit further. And you don't need to worry if you don't have the same pencils. Any brand will do, just get some, just get some colors. Get brown, wood comes in red, so you can put some of your reds in there, your Tuscan or mahogany, your chestnut, brown, red tones. Some woods even are purple. You could put some purples in there. You can use what you want. The only thing we're doing here is we want to go your darkest and then feather out lighter. So whatever pencils you choose to use, just use the same idea. We're just going right over the top, feathering out, filling in that white on the paper. It's okay if the colors touch. It's okay. Just filling in that paper. A couple more spots here, down here at the bottom. Right. And I'm trying to leave my paper pretty straight and in one spot. So it doesn't make you have a headache watching or anything. So, but if you need to move your paper and adjust, you, you go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to that sepia. I'm gonna add in some shadows. So this bunny here in front of the ladder, he's gonna cast a shadow on this ladder. So I wanna go ahead and darken up right under by him. And down here at the bottom, there's a flower that's going to be casting a shadow. So we'll go over here. And then right here is showing the side of the ladder, and that's further away from us, and so it's going to be a little darker. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go right back over what the sepia we put down before. And just darken that up a little bit. Make sure we see that wood grain those knots and imperfections in the wood. You don't want this too blended. It's not glass, it's wood. Okay. Then we're gonna get our lightest color and we're just gonna go over the whole thing Filling in that paper right over what we've already done, gathering out, filling it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it as dark or as light as you want your coloring book, it's your world, it's your rules, this is your time to just relax and enjoy a few minutes. Whether you've had a stressful day at work or you have three little boys at home like I do, this is your time, your space. So just you go ahead and do you. All right, now I'm noticing that I want a little more of a mid-tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my chocolate. I'm just gonna go over a few spots. Just adding it in, feathering it out. You can get here and there a few places. Like I said, if you've ever stopped and looked at a piece of wood, they are not perfect. They're not well blended. They've got dark spots and light spots, warm spots and cool spots. It's good. All right. 
go back with that sandbar, our lightest color, and just make sure everything is colored in. Just get a nice ladder there, nice piece of wood. Beautiful. If you want to darken your shadow areas, if you feel like they're not coming out enough, go back over it with that sepia. If that's still not enough, go ahead and grab a darker color. Espresso is darker, that would add it. Get that in. See, we have a beautiful piece of wood. Let's see if you can get it in there. Got some knots, some texture, some highlights, some lowlights. Just beautiful. Just enjoy your coloring. Look around and see what you see in this world and what colors they are and what textures they have. And Add them to your coloring book and just enjoy your time and your space. And I will see you next time with something other coloring book inspired. <laughs> Bye!